Good morning, Sunday morning, doing a bit of a vlog. You give me the idea of this, Paul. Paul, uh... So, I'm in Hrill to start with. I went outside, if I can show you. B&M. And I've just been to the corner, one over there, Farm Foods. Because that's where I can get American stuff, crisps and stuff like that. That's the steam train in the Marine Lake, have you heard that? And uh, so, go find Mrs H now, she's in B&M's. some of them. Look at them. Beautiful. Fancy some haggis. I like haggis. Very simple. Absolutely delicious. I'll try them. Nice selection of cheeses. Beautiful. New York Deli Pastrami, I'd love to try that. Okay, so we're in Prestatin, and I've just come out of Marks and Spencers and all places like that. There's a huge Tesco here. Um, Marks and Spencer's, Superdrug, Boots, uh, what else is this, JD, Poundland, Sports Direct, Clark's Shoes and TK Maxx and Vodafone and a damn good chip shop at the end. So uh, right, carry on. I know I'm back again but may I say that lunch was beautiful if you don't know what it was it was pork chop with no bone and no rind um, broccoli buttery mash which is uh, obviously Maris Piper potatoes uh, mashed them up butter salted butter bit of salt as well pepper and a splash of milk and then whisk it creamy and then serve it with the pea. they weren't marrow fat peas they were garden peas um, I'd run out of marrow fat, marrow fat peas so uh, but lovely really enjoyed it with lashentos of gravy and I used the water from the broccoli to make the gravy so a good healthy version okay so eagle-eyed of you the internal shots I filmed there of uh, Marks and Spencers were filmed last week was it last week or the week before uh, when I was in the sand did no one but I never used the clips so you only seen the external part of Marks and Spencer's in Prestatin the internal shots were from sand did no but they sell the same food anyway 
Um, but today I bought a few bags of crisps from Marks and Spencers and um, home bargains in Rill. So first I want to show you them and then I want to talk about next week's hot and spicy and a recipe I made up. Anyway, these are Marks and Spencers. These are, well, I haven't tried this version yet. I've, I like this. Uh, what is it? Roast beef and onion flavour. Oh, lovely. With a, with a cold beer. And then, um, that's them. I don't eat them all in one sitting. I have sort of a handful um, in a bowl. And if I have a beer, I'll have a handful while I'm watching something on YouTube or something in the week. Or I'll have sparkling water. I really enjoy that in the week. And then I've seen these. I don't know if you've tried them. I can't remember if I've tried I'm sure I have tried something, but uh, I think I've tried the hotter version of these, but um, I, so then will be a snack. And in case you haven't seen them, this one I really like the sound of. Punchy paprika. So that sounds nice. Walkers. These in America are called Lays. Apparently. Now, last week, as I've told you before, I experiment with different things, weird things sometimes. <laughs> sometimes they work, and sometimes uh, they're really good, and sometimes I'll never bother again. Anyway, I got some chicken wings from Morrison's, um, a box full, only £3 something in money. And what I did was I experimented. By, I've got some chilli infused olive oil there, uh, quite an expensive one. You can see all the chilies all floating inside, lovely, it's hot and fiery it's called. And uh, I got the chicken wings, brought them to room temperature, coated them in this fiery, inf this chilli infused olive oil, then some salt, then some pepper, then I used some chicken seasoning, sprinkle of that. Then I added some mild, which I didn't have, so I had to buy some curry powder because you know I usually have hot or ex extra hot uh, powders. You wouldn't believe that, would you? Um, so I bought the curry powder, mild, just for the flavour. Only a little bit of that on top, and um, I baked them in the oven, roasted them in the oven, and I overdid them because I like the. Uh, the skin really crispy and the bones came apart beautiful crispy skin lovely inside and the flavour it was a lovely sort of uh, taste I didn't want heat I wanted that I wanted to see what the flavour of that was before um, and the reason when I tried them it was a lovely sort of or oh, moorish uh, slightly salty um, flavour to them, really rich and salty, lovely. So next week I'm going to make some chicken thighs and wings, uh, roast them the way I did and then I'm going to get some, say about four, and I'm going to put some marinade, this smoky uh, barbecue marinade I bought last week or the week before. So I'll do a few with the marinade I'll do a few the way I've just said, this experiment um, method, this uh, recipe, which is lovely. I find it nice anyway, that's my taste. Um, and we'll add some hot sauces. I bought a Naga chilli sauce in uh, uh, Marks and Spencer's a week or two ago. And uh, so we'll try that. Uh, and I got a few other uh, sauces, obviously. So we might have a chicken wing and thigh and sauces, hot and spicy next week, some hot sauces and, and a few beers, maybe a few chips or fries, we'll see. But um, yeah, just thought I'd let you know about that, like experimenting with some recipes. And that's it, so I'll leave you in peace, so thanks for watching this. There's probably going to be another video up uh, next with a like a, our clips of autumn we filmed over the last few weeks or months. Uh, so that'll be next. So thanks for watching again. Sorry to put my ugly mug on your television or whatever you're watching me on. 
<laughs> the mind the thought on a big screen Oof. anyway have a great week ahead and um, I will look at your comments under this uh, but I may not reply with time and that I got a few things to do now ready for tomorrow for work and but uh, I will read them I'm very much appreciated so all the best have a great weekend what's left and a good start to next week